Right then, mud. So we've made it to the inn in the glade. And I'm highly suspicious of what Andrew's done with Adam's valuables, especially his cross. I mean, the charcoal burner said he'd sold things to Andrew, and then Andrew said no, he turned them away. So we went back to the charcoal burner, and the charcoal burner says, "Well, actually, I did sell them to Andrew. He bought them off me." I am very, very suspicious. I think we're going to have to have a bit of a poke around here, dude. We're going to have to have a look and see. Sneak into the cellar, because I, I noticed there was some trunks in here. Well, quick drink, because apparently we're better at picking locks when we've had a bit to drink. Right there. Yep, not seeing anything there. Dolly's supplies. Uh, gotta shut that door actually. It's gonna make too much noise. Maybe supplies alone. What about in here? Oh, there's another trunk here. Oh. Yeah, so what's in here then? Ah, now, there is Adam's family's cross, but I'm not so sure about the rest. I'll tell you what. I can't be certain, but... I'll take these things just on the off chance. But we definitely want to make sure that Adam gets his cross back. Come on, let's get moving. Right, mutt. Thought I better wait for those guards to disappear because I'm carrying uh oh my god, aren't I? Right. Well, there's Adam, so let's go and have a chat with him. God be with you. What can I do for you? You won't believe it, but I found Bianca's cross. Really? How did you find it? It's a long story. And? It's yours. Take it. Thank you, Henry. This is the only memory I have of them. How much do I owe you? No, I don't want anything. I'm glad to do a favour for a neighbour. That's so generous of you, Henry. I'm very grateful. If, if you ever need anything, I'll remember it. Goodbye. And I do remember it. So I could do with an innkeeper. Adam, listen. You're a friendly fellow, and you know a thing or two about the tavern trade. How would you like to be my innkeeper? What? Me? Innkeeper? I've got a tavern in Privis Labbits. Sir Divish put me in charge of building new homes there, but who wants to live in a village without an alehouse? And someone's got to run it. I'd love to, Henry, but I can't just now. But come back to me another time, if you're still interested. Ah, oh, still not interested. Ah, oh, this is very frustrating, you know, Doug. I mean, we've... Hmm. Oh well. Guess we may as well go and see Sir Hanush then. Ah, so there's Sir Hanush. Hey, Henry's come to see us. Ooh, guess I'm gonna have to spill the beans to both of them. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? It's all sorted out, sir. You've no need to worry about the vicar anymore. Excellent. Some good news at last. I've heard some pretty wild rumours from Ujits. So what happened there, exactly? Maybe this will surprise you, sir, but there really were heretics in Ujits. Are you telling me the vicar didn't come to stick his nose in my possessions? I don't know about that, but he definitely suspected there were heretics hereabouts, and he was right. Christ! A man doesn't expect that sort of thing in his own fiefdom. Did you catch them? 
No, they ran away. The vicar's investigation wasn't exactly low-key. Anyway, they've definitely fled beyond your estate. Oh, that's at least something. And the vicar? He's probably hot on their heels. Hmm, well, I hope he doesn't come back. Anyway, Henry, thanks for dealing with that vicar. You pulled a thorn from my side. Here's a little token of my gratitude. Thank you, sir. Good luck, then. Sir, I have news, and I'm sorry to say it's nothing good. After everything that's happened, you have even worse news. That's almost impressive. I'm afraid so. It's going to happen again, and on an even bigger scale. You're full of good cheer, aren't you? What exactly will happen? It seems the Pribislavitz encampment was just the start, and they're far from defeated. How did you find out? I found a recruiting agent who worked for them and let him recruit me. Ah, God's holy hat. You never cease to surprise me, lad. And what did you find out? They have another much bigger encampment in Vranik, near to Sasau. What do those bastards want? And who the hell are they? To hurt us? Conquer the region? I'm not sure yet, but I can find out. How? I'm one of them now. I have their secret sign. I know where their camp is. All I have to do is go and take a look. That's out of the question. It's too risky. Sire, compared to everything I went through to get this, it will be child's play. I already passed their test. They trust me. Then we'll have to attack them before things get out of hand. Ideally, right now, when they're not expecting us. Once we catch that mangy little shit, we can ask him nicely what he wants. But then again, before we attack, it would be useful to have a spy go and scout out how many of them there are and what they're up to. I don't want you to take any unnecessary risks. It's much less risky than our raid on Privy Slavitz. All right then, Hal. Go there and find out how many of them there are and what their plans are, whatever you can. But don't stick your neck out too far. Yes, sir. Godspeed, lad. Indeedy. Now, the thing is, I still need to sort something out for Adam, though. Um, oh. Good boy. <laughs> That's you, my boy. You were thinking of running off, weren't you? Not necessary. I still need to find out. Looks like I'm going to have to go back and ask that damn um, charcoal burner then. Um, that means going into the tourney. Yeah, I suppose we could call in at Ledechko. Still need to talk to them, to Kuno. Ah, now there was... I need to give him his... Uh, where is he then? He's down... That's the miller. Yeah, that's the miller that I need to give the uh, the jewels to. He's over there, so we could go there as well. Right, tell you what, dog, we're gonna go and see the miller. Old Tonda from Tabor, the one I buy goods from. Uh, and stealing horses right and away, jewelry, or whatever them. next. How much do I want for them? I am honored that you should come to me. I was surprised myself, but I have I the jewels sure from Lady Stephanie. To sell them. You're so just the man. Advice. Here's your reward, That's and fine. don't let it go to your head. Just like that. What I heard about him, he's a right. Um, that's a thought. I think all those things that we got off Andrew, they obviously were stolen. They weren't the valuables off uh, from Adam, because they seem to be still outstanding. Uh, have you got them? Because I think I kept... Yeah, I gave them to you, didn't I, dude? May as well get rid of them. Yeah, we'll fence them. See if he's got anything else uh, that he wants doing. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right. Let's see what we can do about that. Goodbye. Uh, that. Hang on. Oh, that one, that one. Uh, that one. Yeah. 
you can store those for us. In the meantime, oh, don't have these or these. So we'll have, oh, we'll have those. That, that could come in handy. Let's have a word about the price. Well, we can try it. See now, I knew we'd come to an agreement. Hmm. Not bad. Right, so, he didn't seem to have anything else to do. No, I'm just going to double check. Hang on, Mutt. I'm just going to double check. I don't think he had anything else to do, to be honest. Take care. So there's still some stuff to do for Miller Peshek. Memory serves. He wanted this. What did he want? Oh, yes, he wanted... Oh, yeah, we'll have to... That's going to be tricky. I might have to, I might try sneaking in during the day. Could do that, but I think we're going to head over to Ledechko, right? Because there was a blacksmith over there asking about the other blacksmith, I think, in Sasau, and at least we know about that one. So, while we're down here, we'll go and see that blacksmith. Right. Come on. Come on, Mutt. Leave the, leave the dog alone, will you? Anyway, this here is the blacksmith of Ledechko, so... He sent us over to the blacksmith of Sasau, so I need to tell him what we found out. I'm honoured that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Master Blacksmith, I think I know how the tempering gets done in Sasau. And what have you found out? Don't keep me on tenterhooks. Out with it. That chant of his is a sort of nursery rhyme. He uses it to time his heating and quenching. Well, there we are. I thought those rumours about casting spells were a load of nonsense. And do you recall this little rhyme of his? Maybe, but that's not all. He heats the metal twice. Twice? Why would he do that? You'll have to ask him that. But the second time it didn't hiss, although he heated it. And that rhyme of his, it went something like this. Uh... The sun sets out across the skies. He loses his way to the forage he flies. That sounds like the start of something. Kuttenberg is far, far away. Kuttenberg is far. Here I'll stay. Um, two, um, three. Uh, my breath is short. My feet are sore. Uh, I'd buy a horse, but I am poor. Yes, that would be about it. The sun may burn, the sun may shine, but you'll not wither, darling mine. And seven. That was the first part. Now the second. The sun he hides behind a cloud. His heat goes cold and his fire goes out. And that's how the second part begins, is it? He drowned the fish and broke its neck, threw it down upon the deck. Hmm. Fry your fish, the fish head's best, fishy thighs and fishy breast. And four and five. And that's all. That's the way it went. Right. The first part long and the second shorter nearly by half. I'll have to try it out. Here's your reward, and if you're in need of a job... I'll give it some thought, Master Blacksmith. Uh, actually... Goodbye. Out of curiosity, if you've got anything of particular interest? No, you don't. Oh well. Yes, that's it. So, I think, Doggy, what we are going to do is we're going to head back to Ratai. Because uh, we need to get something from the baths, as we're better at lock picking. Right, let's get a move on. Right in mud. I suspect what we're looking for is in a trunk in here. Because we were poking around some of the other chests, but this one's a Pretty tough one to crack. And I couldn't do it back then. Ooh. 
Oh. How do? Maybe I should come back at night because it's here that I need to be. Hmm. sign of anybody quick drink hey yeah, that's better huh this is a problem then. He wanted. Let's take the ring from the Madame's treasure chest. Louis, so it's not even in here. Nobody but us chickens. Now I am scratching my head because I haven't seen this treasure chest. That was the hardest one I've seen in the two buildings. I mean, I suggest it's on the left, so maybe. I'm really puzzled now, dog. That been up. I've been in both buildings and I've been on that floor as well. I am seriously scratching my head now as to where it is. Because it doesn't say it's on her person. I think it's not in there. Because there's a hard one over here. That belongs to one of the, the maids. Hang on. Ah. So it's not that either. Ring from the bus. Hmm. What is that one then? Ah. So it wasn't as difficult as I thought. Come on then, dog. Let's go and see Miller Peshek. Cannot believe that because I was waiting till I got better at lock picking, and I'd already opened it anyway. <laughs> I'd already get in the right chest open in the first place. Who knew? Right. So I wonder if this will be the last uh, job for him as well then. Greetings. I have that ring for you. Excellent. They'll be hopping mad at the baths once they find out. Here's your reward. And don't turn it all into drink. Hmm. Anything else? Any chance of some more work for me? For you? Always. A friend of mine asked me to help him get back some disputed land from his neighbour. Oh, and you become an officer of the law, is that it? A likely turn of events. No, I'm pleased to say this is good old-fashioned stealing. There's a deed of sale for that land, not quite in his favour. So it would be a fine thing if it went missing. Very well. Where do I need to liberate it from? From the bailiff himself. Ha! You should see the face you're pulling. 
I never said it would be easy. The deed is supposed to be at the rat house somewhere, on the table among the other parchments. You'll need to sneak in and then find it. I'll manage somehow. That I don't doubt. And you needn't doubt your reward. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye indeed. I guess we're going to have to sneak in there at night then, Doug. That's going to be interesting. Oh, wow. I can't believe we're doing this. Right then. Uh, got to grab something to drink to make this a bit easier. Yeah. Make sure there's no one around. I haven't said that about it. I could have brought my, my actual gear that keeps me quiet, but I forgot, didn't I? Right. I'll put that out. I'm going to stand out like a sore thumb. We. Oh, oh. Still here. Sneak. Time is it? What are these? He's been busy. I'm assuming it's up here. If he heard that, I'm in deep duty. Oh. I already said it was on a table. Ah. Now, $64 million question is, can I get out without being seen? I can't believe I managed to pull that off. <laughs> Close your door while you're not noticing. Right. Don't want to look too obvious, so I'll put all our gear on and then we'll go back and see the Miller. Ah, so there's Miller Peshek. I have the stolen parchment for you. Ha <laughs> ha! Good work! And I have a few Groschen for you in exchange. Uh, actually, there was a few... I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. Alright, let's see what we can do about that. Goodbye. Yeah, well, actually, I can buy that off you. Yeah, there was a few bits and bobs I, um... Couldn't resist going back in there. But there's that one I didn't sell to the other miller, which I should have done. Some interesting books here. The bailiff was, uh, holding on to. I mean, they should be in the public domain, you know. I'm just saying. Uh, Hang on, I was trying to sell stuff to you, mate. Can, can I just sell you those things? Dude. Hey, lad! Don't you want a little wager on the rat aid tourney? Right. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. Alright. Let's see what we can do about that. Goodbye. Right. So that I want to buy off you. That and these I want to give to you for the greater public good. Let's talk about the price. Hmm. All right, so. Aye, that would do it. 
Right. Finally, we managed to get that done. Right. I think we're going to head over in that direction of uh, Scallets, guys. Because that's where we need to be going next. Hey, come on. And let's get going. Come on, Mutt. I want another chat with this charcoal burner. Except he's not very talkative. I wonder if he, like... I mean, I've been, I've been through his stuff, to be honest. Yeah, I wonder if he stashed it somewhere, you know. What if he stashed things somewhere around here? I think we better... Hold on. Nope. I remember taking a look around here, but I'm wondering if he stashed it. You know, took a little hole or something somewhere and buried all that stuff he stole. Tell you what, let's have a good look around, dog. Well, I haven't found anything yet, dog. He must have stashed it somewhere. Tell you what, how about put your nose to the test? Let's see what you can sniff out here. Think. What? You found something, have you? Or are you just snuffing around? What, something over here? What? Here? How did you find that? How the heck did you find that dog? I mean, it's just a, a fallen down tree. How, how? You must have a really good nose on you. I don't know. Fair enough. I guess we better go and give it back to Adam then. Hello. I think we'll call in to... Well, there's still some things I need to do. I need to head over to those... Uh, there was those marauders we need to deal with, isn't there? Yeah. There's also that, um, we need to go into Scallets as well, because we need to find, we need to find that stuff that, uh, Kinesh was telling us about. I do want to get back to Privet Slavitz at some point. Hmm. Well done there, doggy. I must have it, I'm seriously impressed. There's the good doggy. <laughs> That's my boy. Oh well. Better get back to the horse and I found it. I found it. At least I think I found it. I mean it apparently there's a few dove cuts dotted around, but I think this one might be the one. Dog, can you not get in the way? Right, I think we need to dig this one up. Seriously, dog. You had to stand there. All the places you chose to stand in. I mean, what did you expect? Right, let's have a look in here. See if this is the place we were looking for. Ooh. It's here. That Kunesh wasn't lying. But I know this goblet. It belongs to Beren. And he's still alive. I saw him in Ratai among the refugees. Wearing red, as always. Now what? Hmm. I don't really feel like giving this to Kanesh. I think we should... I should... I mean, these these have to go back to their, their owner, don't the dog? Yeah, I think we better find Beren and uh, give him these things back. Well, now that we're back and retire, you guys, I think I'm... Seriously? Why do you have to pee on that thing? Why couldn't you, like, pee on the tree? What more appropriate? Well, not for the tree, like, but, you know, all the same. Anyway, I need to ask Gerhana uh, Peshek if he's got any more work. Hey! Greeting! Once again, I'm out of paid work. I can help you there. But once you find out what I have in mind, you may want to reconsider. I see. Am I to free the king from imprisonment 
Or steal Sir Divish's finest steed? Pray, do tell. You know what? You're not that far off the mark. Sir Hanush has in his possession a certain beautifully illuminated volume. Not that he knows how to read, mind. He got it as a gift from someone. But it's not much use to him. I can think of a better use for it. Don't tell me that you can read. Ha! Never let it be said I'd waste my time on such trifles. But I do have a buyer ready. And as you can imagine, a book like that, decorated with pure gold, will cost him dear. I trust your reward will be generous. Where will I find this book? Have I ever let you down? Fear not, Hal. This time you'll be getting more than usual. Because of the extra risk, stealing from your own liege lord. If they catch you, we've never met, understood? You'll find the book right there in Hanush's chambers at the castle. It won't be easy to get in, but I'm confident you'll figure it out. Best of luck. Look. Goodbye. I'm taking more than look. Shine a light. How far are we willing to go here? Um. Anyway, we need to go and see Adam. Yeah, we need to go and see Adam first. Come on, Mud. I think I found Adam over here. We need to give him his things back. I mean, I. I don't want to give these to An uh, to Andrew. Really, should be going back to Adam. God be with you. Guess who I ran into? A man covered in ash and in possession of a new kettle. Truly? And how did it go? I got something out of him. I think he might have spent some on booze. It's not all of it. But that doesn't matter. I'm grateful for even this much. What do I owe you? Uh, nothing? No, I don't want anything. I'm glad to do a favour for a neighbour. That's so generous of you, Henry. I'm very grateful. If, if you ever need anything, I'll remember it. Goodbye. Um, I do remember something, actually. Adam, listen. You're a friendly fella, and you know a thing or two about the tavern trade. How would you like to be my innkeeper? What? Me? Innkeeper? I've got a tavern in Pribislavitz. Sir Divish put me in charge of building new homes there. But who wants to live in a village without an alehouse? And someone's got to run it. Well, Henry, I've always wanted to save a bit of coin and open my own tavern. To continue the family tradition, like... Like Pa. And, and Bianca. And now you come to me with this offer. I know. That's exactly why I came to you. Thank you. And you can count on me to keep the place full to bursting. Goodbye. Well, that's extremely useful. Uh, I think we'll just wash up here. Right then, I think we need to go and find Baron. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to give this stuff to Kinesh. It really should go back to Baron. So let's go find him. Ah, doggy, come on, catch up, dude. Found Baron. What do you need? I think I have something that belongs to you. I found it in Scalitz. What do you mean? That's it. By all the saints, thank you. You don't even know how much you helped us. And if you know my wife, then you'll know you've just saved my life. I probably shouldn't even tell you this, but Kunesh was after your treasure too. He wanted us to keep it ourselves. What? That... That... I'll give him... I mean to say, I'll tell everyone about him. I... I don't know what to say. Here, take this at least. I'm poor, but you saved us. Goodbye. Right then, so... Be merciful. What am I to do? A poor wretch whose home was burnt to ashes by Sigismund's hordes. I know, I've just been there. Right, so apparently we need... We need to try and get that book from Sir Hanush. I think there's a book in the alchemist's uh, shop. I think we need to probably go in there at night time or something, but tell you what. Come on, Doug. I think we're going to do a bit of recon over at the castle. Hmm. So that looks like a, a very comfy 
bid for somebody important. Uh, Brunk. Specifically, say where this book. Oh, hello. He's left it lying out. Seriously? Uh, I think we'll be having that. That was well. That was that was pretty easy, really. Well, may as well take her back to Miller Peshek then. Oh, Miller Peshek, that was a lot easier than I thought it was hey, going to be. Lad. I have that book from Hanish for you. Great work. Here's your well-earned reward. I got a down payment, and the buyer will be gnawing his nails by now. I'm glad I won't let him down. Good luck, then. Yeah, I know. That's not bad. I mean, that was pretty easy work. I was just kind of peeved. I mean, there was hardly anything in those two trunks. There was two trunks near around, around there, you know. Nothing interesting in them. So, uh, I wonder if you've got any more work. Hey! Uh, no. I'll see you later. Okay, fair enough. Well, I suppose there's still that uh, that book, but we'll have to probably get that at night then, Doug. Yeah, well, I don't want to go in there during the day because obviously we'll have to get past a guard and a shopkeeper, but... Hmm. I think that's what we need to be doing next. Well, what do you know? Turns out the, the apothecary actually wanted that book from us uh, that we got out of the Sasau Monastery. Uh, he actually collared me as soon as I walked through the door because I went in there doing, to try to do some like, you know, recon to see what uh, what we were up against. And he, yeah, he collared me straight away. Took the book and it's a case of we need to wait a while. So I may as well do a bit of clean up work here in Sasau. Uh, I've been over to the custodian. He needs uh, he needs some more marauders clearing out. They're not too far. They're up in the northwest. I think I'll do what I did with the last lot. I'll just clear them out at night if I can. Uh, then there, I well, yeah, there's that uh, that Queen of Sheba sword. I, I forgot the um, the blacksmith round here actually has a part, but well, we need to uh, relieve him of his burden, shall we say? So we'll, we'll wait a bit later until it gets dark, and then we'll go and pay him a visit. There's also a farmer down there. Well, there's, no, there's a herbalist down there, I think. As a farmer's amulet, is it? Yeah, so there's the herbalist who's just down there. So we need to go down there and get the farmer's amulet from there. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit too early to be snooping around. So we'll just hang around here for a while. Then we'll get this area all cleared up, eh? Tie up some loose ends, yeah. Let's do that. Ah, so you're the person we had to get the um, the amulet off. I mean, probably don't mind me dumping you in the ditch there, but you know, I nabbed you from behind off the bridge. I didn't exactly want to leave you in plain sight. Now, Zach, on the other hand, I went through these through the blacksmith's um, uh, workshop and everything, and there was no sign of anything there. Oh, and I've just found Vitus asleep in here. Zack just happened to walk past minutes ago. So he should be in here, because we've already... Well, that's handy. He's, he's, he's locked the door behind him. <laughs> I can unlock it again. It's curious as to why Vitus seems to have the better bed. Right, so we need to nab that uh, thing off you because it's not you're not keeping it in a chest. You must keep it on your person. There we go. Stay nice and quiet. Right.
Thank you very much, Zach. Appreciate that very much. Shut your door. We wouldn't want anybody coming in and bothering you during the night now, would we? Let's see, so we've now got the amulets. We need to return that. Uh, getting the extra piece from the Queen of Sheba's sword. Really about getting to those interlopers. The only trouble is, it's... Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to get there in time, and I could really do with some more... Some more of that blooming Nighthawk portion. Oh, I want somebody over there. I think I'll make a dash back to the inn. See if I can find any more portions, otherwise I'm going to have to make some more uh, tomorrow and then go back out in the night. Find that camp for the of the marauders. What's to do? Come on, dog. Right, dude. We never met, okay? I'm at your service, Sir Knight. Yeah, I wouldn't be calling me that after what I've been up to. Here's the farmer's pouch you asked for. Great, thanks. He'll have a fit when he finds out. He won't get a wink of sleep till he gets a new one. You see, he's got this idea he'll be eaten alive by fleas and lice without his amulet. I'm always on the lookout for work. What have you got? When I worked for the farmer, I took a fancy to his maid. Only she's got someone else. A draper. He gives her fine shawls and chemises. And I don't have a chance. Go and steal the shawl she has. What use would her shawl be to you? I'll slip it to someone else and then tell the draper his sweetheart puts no value on the gifts he gives her. He's really jealous, so he'll be mad as hell. <laughs> you are so, so cruel. That's not very nice of you. But what do I care? What's it worth to you? Don't worry. I'll reward you in Groshen. God be with you. That's all we're interested in, isn't it, doggy? Right, let's go and find this bandit camp. Well, like, they're actually marauders, but... Come on, let's get moving. Come here, Mud. What? Come here. Oi. Dude. Come here, man. Found the camp. Right, so, seen. I mean, I've got some night talk portion. I think I'm just gonna hang around here because I want to. I want to have a bit of fun with these lot, you know. I mean, I did with the last lot. It was, it was quite fun. Yeah, I think we'll. Uh, I think we'll wait around and clear these lot out at night. Whoop. There seems to be quite a few of them because there's a little campment area up there, and one down there. Trouble is, if they've got a constant patrol, the last lot didn't, you see, so I was able to take them all out in their sleep. Hopefully it'll be the same with this lot. Come on, dude. Dog. What? Come here, buddy. I'll hang around with, uh, with Dobbin. Oh, big pig. What? Come here, buddy. We'll just hang around here with Dobbin, okay? And then we'll see if we can have a bit of fun with him at night time. Uh, uh yeah, you, you just lie there, Doug. I'll, I'll do all the work. I mean, that's like four of them I've got so far. They seem to be going out on constant patrol, so I'm, I'm glad I noticed that. Otherwise, if I'd snuck in to that camp at night, I would have been surprised. But... We shall keep on and having a look around, see if any more of these numpies decide to go wandering, and well, we'll just bring them back here. Eh? Exciting, it is. Oh wow! Neither wonder you're the camp leader. Picking places like this one of oh, that makes it so much harder to take you out at night. But at least we've got you and all of your camp now sorted out. Anything interesting? Not really. So, so there's four back where the dog and horse are. Camp leader plus another three. So that should give me a total of eight banded ears. 
good. I wonder if we can. Uh, hmm. I'm tempted to try and sell you, but never mind. Ew. Well, didn't notice that. No. That might, that might be some egg sighting in there. That's quite the active camp you guys have got. Or had. <laughs> so, now let's see. So. Got his spurs and eight bandits ears. Well, guess we better head back to Sassauven. Hmm. I suspect your shawl that I need. Oh, there was somebody coming. Shush, 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 shush. Now have a look in here. Put it in here. Nope. Is it on your person? Aha. Could prove quite amusing to say the least. No one around, so head back to the inn. All right then, any more crazy schemes after this one then? I'm at your service, Sir Knight. I brought you that girl's shawl. Thank you. I'll hide it in the farmer's bed and then tell the draper. It'll cripple the bastard if you don't kill him outright. Who is it you want to get revenge on? The farmer or his maid? All of them. They're all a bunch of diabolical swine, and that draper too. Hmm. I think this might be going a bit too far. Is there anything else you want? One last thing, but it won't be so easy this time. I got my own back on the farmer and that wench. Now it's the draper's turn for stealing my girl. Steal the tinderbox he carries. It's his pride and joy, and he's always boasting about how fine it is. Everyone knows it's his. Once you've got it. I'll set the whole bloody farm on fire and drop his tinderbox there so everyone will blame him. Oh, what the hell? We have to have a dark side. The avenging angel is at your service. I'll get right on it. Take care. I can't believe I'm going to do this. Right, come on. We shall go and see the custodian. Ah. Uh... Then I've got to go and see about that tinderbox. Ah, I managed to clear that camp out for you. Good God, you look terrible. Did someone attack you? Uh, yeah. I've taken care of that camp. Oh, yes? And what proof might you have of that? Here it is. At least one piece of good news today. There, take your reward. It looks like your job is done. We don't know of any other camps. So let's hope we'll have some peace for a while. Very well. What are you loitering around here for? You did your job. You've got your money. What more could you want? Um, well, Some thanks wouldn't go, miss. I've thanked you enough with money. But if you want someone to embrace you and sing your praises, go to the local baths. They know all about that sort of thing. Now be off with you. I still have things I need to do. Oh, okay, well, what about these bandit ears, then? I have some, uh, well, trophies. Let's have them. Those scoundrels deserved it. See you later. Fair enough. Well, I guess that's that done. So, we need... Yeah, we need to get his tinderbox. Hmm. Well, I think this has gone a bit too far, I must admit. Now I'm going to assume you keep your tinderbox on your person. Oh, you're the shop guard. Oh, okay. Sorry, dude. Um, where's 
Well, I think we'd better work our way through the family at this rate. Is he in? Well, I can always have a look in here. Dude. Shush, shush, shush. I was gonna pick your pocket, but I'm not really all that good at it, to be honest. We have to wait until the dark night to knock you out. Thank you very much. Oh, I think this is gonna come back to bite me. Quite amusing that there's a priest out there bleating on about the sins of the world. <laughs> He's been there all day. Oh, strength. Right. I think I'm going to go to bed and then I'll. I think we'll. Yeah. I'm going to go to bed, Doug. And then we'll go and see the farmhand in the morning. <laughs> ah, good news, good news. God's blessings. What can I do for you? I've got the Draper's tinderbox for you. <laughs> he who laughs last, laughs loudest. Here's the boots I promised you. Wear them in good health. And now I'll go and get my revenge. Goodbye. We've got some slippers, dude. You want to play with them? Let's have a look and see what kind of slippers we've got. They're comfortable, they're comfortable shoes. Well, I think I'll, uh, I'll just let you play with them, then, dog. Probably the best idea. <laughs> I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go away from this area as far away as possible because, yeah, I think all hell is gonna break loose here shortly. <laughs> God. Ah, uh, go on, you two. We better get going. <laughs> 